Hello, friends, and welcome to Storytime. Today, we're going to be reading a book called Duck Gets a Job. This book is written and illustrated by Sunny Ross. So this is the front cover, this is the back cover, and this is the spine. Okay, let's get started. Duck Gets a Job. Hmm. So it says something on the back. It says, my name is Duck, and I would like a job. My friends work in the city and never stop talking about it. So any job, please sign duck. P.S. Creative jobs preferred. And here at the top, it says resume name duck skills, quacking, drawing, being waterproof. That's pretty silly, huh? Duck gets a job by Sunny Ross. This is the title page. This is duck. Duck wanted a job. All Duck's friends had jobs in the city and they never stopped talking about them. This one says, I love spreadsheets. And this one says, me too. And this one says, you should come and work in the city with us, Duck. So Duck looked at the ads for city jobs. They seemed boring, but he applied anyway and he got an interview. Ooh, here it says at the top, jobs, office, core. And here's a calculator, here's a briefcase, and here is maybe something else, a walkie-talkie maybe. He couldn't decide what to wear to the job interview. He didn't want to make a bad first impression. He opted for a professional look. So an interview is where you have to meet the employer or the job, or people at the job, and talk to them, and they decide if you're a good fit for their company. So this one is the cool look. You got some sunglasses and a cool little sweater. Here he has a briefcase and a hat. This is professional. And this is natural. This is what he normally wears, which is just a bandana. I think that's what he was wearing here. Just nothing really natural look. But he decided to do professional with the hat and a briefcase. Maybe that's a phone right there. Next, Duck had to decide how to get there. Flying would make him tired and sweaty, but public transportation is tricky for ducks. So here he is, if he took a bus, here he is walking, trying to take a train, getting on the train, he might get his feathers stuck. And flying, well, that's a lot of effort. He might get tired and sweaty before the interview. He chose to walk and he got lost. Oh my goodness, look at all these tall buildings. It's pretty tough in a world that's not really meant for ducks, huh? When Duck finally arrived in the city, he had to get a taxi so he wouldn't be late. He said, taxi. In the taxi, he gave himself a pep talk. That means some positive self-talk. He said, you can do it. He said, calm down, be cool, be yourself, relax. You can do it, you can do anything. You've done hard things before, you can do this. Here it says taxi. In the interview, Duck wasn't cool, professional, or relaxed. He was very nervous. Here it says, Mr. Boss. This is the boss interviewing Duck. Wow, I think this job is meant for humans because look how big the chair is and look how small Duck is. And here it says, smile with your voice. And there's some sort of calculator or something right here. But he got the job. Wow, he got the job. Look, he's jumping for joy. He's so excited. Duck soon realized that spreadsheets full of facts and figures did not interest him at all. Productivity equals success, confidence, tax return, 9.999 plus. You are important to the company, boss. You are important to the company, boss. Oh, look, he's sleeping. I see all these Z's. That means he's just snoring away, huh? He did have a nice nap, though. Before he left that night, Duck quit. Wow, it was only his first day and he already quit? Wow, he's leaving off office court. I guess he really didn't like that job, huh? He had always wanted to be an artist. Hmm, look, he went to the museum. He saw some famous paintings, huh? So Duck found an, ob an, uh, so Duck found an ad for a job that better suited his interests. So he found this magazine called Creative Quack. 
jobs. Art jobs, pottery, there's painting. Wow, what is he, what are all these words? Ceramics, that's the study of um, pots and making different types of pottery. Fashion, design, illustration. Illustration is drawing, like for this book. Comics, photography, that's taking pictures, art, and writing. I think those are things that better suited his interests. For his interview, he dressed in his natural look and he put samples of his best work in a portfolio. So his bandana is his natural look. And all of these pictures are things that he drew and he put them in a portfolio so that the job could see that he was a really great artist. He checked his, he checked his route to make sure he didn't get lost and he left plenty of time so he wouldn't be late. So big difference from before when he was really stressed about getting there. So he decided to walk and it took so long he actually ended up taking a taxi. But this time, he made sure he knew where he was going so he wouldn't be late and he didn't get lost. He showed his work and he wasn't nervous at all. He felt confident because he was being himself. This is one of the pictures he drew. It says, by Duck. Duck got the job. He was very happy. Like he's shaking the hand of the boss who gave him the job. Duck loved his new job. There were no spreadsheets. Wow, look, he can color and draw all day. Look at all the drawings that he made. He made a cat. Here's Duck. Here's some plants. Here's a muscle band. This one says ducks are rad. And over here, there's some really cool looking pictures, huh? There's a hand over there. Duck was happy that he had decided to follow his dreams. Look, he's using a skateboard now and all those people, look how their heads are down and they look kind of sad. Maybe that's because they're in jobs that they don't like. Well, Duck is in a job that he does like. The end. So thanks for coming to Storytime, friends. This book was called Duck Gets a Job by Sonny Ross. Thanks. I'll see you next time.